In this video, we are going to be going over the main differences between a mine diamond and a lab-grown diamond, the visual and chemical properties, price, and methods of telling the two apart. I will also be showing you a side-by-side -side comparison of a two-carat lab diamond and a two-carat mine diamond, so stay tuned till the end of the video. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Juliet from Cullen Jewelry, and if you clicked on this video, you're probably looking to learn a little bit more about lab diamonds. What are they? How do they compare to natural diamonds? Are they fake? all that good stuff so you've come to the right place not only will we be going over all that info today we're also going to be looking at a side-by-side -side comparison of a lab diamond and a mine diamond so you can see the two for yourself so make sure you watch this video all the way through i hope you enjoy and let's get started firstly what are lab grown diamonds as the name suggests, lab-grown diamonds are man-made in a lab. These labs use advanced technology to replicate the high heat and high pressure conditions within the earth, removing the need for mining. These diamonds can have various names, such as cultured diamonds and man-made diamonds, but the most commonly used term is lab-grown diamonds. So what are the visual and chemical properties of a lab-grown diamond? Lab diamonds are chemically, physically, and optically identical to natural diamonds. They are both made up of carbon and have the exact same characteristics, meaning they are equally as durable, they sparkle the same, and will last a lifetime. The only difference between the two is that one is created in a lab and one is created in the earth. On a molecular level, they are completely identical. When you do see visual differences between the two, it's solely based on each stone's individual specifications, so the colour, clarity and cut, which is no different to if you were comparing two natural diamonds, as no two stones will be the exact same. They're all unique. Because of this, lab and natural diamonds also go by the exact same grading process. Both receive certificates from official grading labs such as GIA and IGI, as well as indicate that it was created in a lab if applicable. Now let's move on to price. Unlike the physical properties, there's a big difference in price when comparing labs to mine diamonds. On average, lab diamonds are one third of the price of natural diamonds, and this is mainly due to three reasons. Number one, lab-grown diamonds touch fewer hands than in the mining process, which results in overall lower production costs. Number two, natural diamonds are artificially inflated due to industry leaders creating false scarcity. While diamonds as a natural resource are inherently scarce, the prices are manipulated significantly by large players in the industry, releasing diamonds to the market in a very controlled way to give the appearance of scarcity and keep the prices high. And number three, natural diamonds are actually really hard work to mine. They usually mine very far away from capital cities where it's very hard to find workers and not to mention the amount of land and capital required to begin mining. All of this creates a huge barrier to competitors entering the market and reduces the competition. Even today, there are only a few companies controlling over 80% of the natural diamond supply. Overall, lab diamonds provide much more value for money. Because they are so much cheaper than mine diamonds, it means you can get a larger and better quality stone for your budget. Before we move on from price, I did quickly want to touch on resale value as it's something that always comes up when comparing labs to mine diamonds. It is widely believed and used as an argument against lab diamonds that mine diamonds are a good investment. This is actually not true. As soon as you walk out of the store, much like buying a car, your diamond ring, regardless if it's mined or lab created, will drop in value about 30 to 50% purely due to the jeweler's markup. This is the extra percentage a jeweler will charge for setting the ring, their service, etc., which is the same with absolutely anything you buy. The average mine diamond will resell for 50 to 70% of the original price, if you're lucky, and only the super rare, highest quality diamonds will increase in value over time. The resale value for lab diamonds is slightly less. You're looking at roughly 40 to 50% of what you originally paid. Either way, you should treat your diamond ring as a beautiful piece of jewelry that can be passed down for generations and not as an investment. And in the long run, you'd be better off buying a lab diamond and investing the money you saved into a high interest savings account or into an index fund. Let me know down below if you want me to talk about this in more depth because there's a lot more to it. Also, if you're enjoying this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting videos weekly. Okay, moving on, let's compare two diamonds. These two two carat stones have the exact same color, clarity, and cut. This one's a lab diamond and this one's a mine diamond. As you can see, even to the trained eye, it is impossible to tell them apart. Like I said in the beginning, any slight differences between the two is because of no two diamonds being exactly the same, and not because one is lab and one is mined. Whichever diamond you choose, you should always prioritise cut, as this is what's going to give you the best fire and best sparkle. I'll also diamond test both these stones for you guys so you can see that lab diamond will always test positive. As you can see here, this is the lab diamond, it's positive, and this is the mine diamond. So a question you may be thinking, if the two stones look completely identical, how do you tell them apart? 
The only way to tell the two stones apart is with the help of either a microscope or a diamond testing machine. Firstly, under a microscope. When looking at the girdle of the stone under 10 times or more magnification, you'll be able to see this little laser inscription. This number will match the one in your diamond certificate and will also identify if it is a lab grown. All diamonds will have this inscription, it's invisible to the naked eye, and is actually a key aspect to ensure the authenticity of your stone. The second way, which you may have seen some jewellers use, is one of these machines. This basically uses UV waves to scan the stones for fluorescence and phosphorescence, and can therefore identify which stone is which. And last but not least, sustainability. Lab diamonds are a lot more eco-friendly than mine diamonds and do not contribute to the environmental devastation caused by mining and the upheaval of natural habitats. On average, miners must sift through 250 tonnes of ore to retrieve one carat of diamond. This has a destructive impact on the environment and often involves the use of unethical label practices. Our lab created stones are made by highly trained technicians in a state of the art laboratory, free from the health risks of a traditional diamond mine. If this is something you really value, lab diamonds are definitely the way to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And if you'd like to watch our weekly videos where we cover all things diamonds, moissanite and engagement rings, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.